Hello everyone, welcome back to today's, I don't know if, if I call it a competition, I should say comparison, it's not a competition. So I have four whites. I did this about a week ago. A few of you mentioned you didn't think it was properly done because of the whites. And I had about a half of a drop less of the ocean white than I did the bloom. So I'm going to do this all over for you again and I'm going to drop my whites onto a stick before I put them in. That way I know. And really you can't go by that because some of these may be more pigmented. So really what I'm, I can't go drop by drop. So what I'm going to do is try to get the exact same amount of whiteness, if you know what I mean, into the cup, whether it's one drop or two drops, because I think the casting craft might take a little bit more. I'm not sure. So we're going to do the bloom, the armor art. This one I use for waves, but I'm like, okay, we're going to try that one. We're going to do the ocean white and we're going to do the cast and craft. And I also learned a trick that you've probably seen on one of my prior videos um, that I learned from Daniel Cooper is to not fill your mold that high. So we're just going to put a very small amount in the bottom of each mold. I know these molds are different sizes. I don't think that that matters, but that's what I have today. I don't have anything else to use today. So that's what we're going with. I'm going to use the same colors in all of them. And um, yeah, let me get some resin heated up. I'm going to use my fast cure because that's what I have the best luck with. I'm going to get it heated to about 33 to 34 degrees Celsius, which is I think 95 degrees Fahrenheit, somewhere around there. And um, we'll get it poured into the bottoms. Got the resin mix. I'm just waiting for it to heat up. I've got my bags ready. Um, I did do a little more extensive research on all of them as far as price, ounces, things like that. So I'll go over that while I wait for the resin to heat up. I have a couple more degrees to go. So the bloom is $26 and you get one ounce. The armor art is $16 and you get 0.85 of an ounce. So just over three quarters of an ounce. So this is the smallest one. The casting craft, which is $5.99, so $6, and you get one ounce. And then the ocean white. So there's two ways to get this one. You could buy this bottle, which is 5.9 ounces, and this one was $20. But if you purchase their new kit um, with the pump, they have a pump resin now with calibrated pumps. Um, they give you a free one in there, which I was so happy to see. This one came in there. This is 50 grams. So that's, I think, more than an ounce. I'm not sure as far as grams. So this one comes free if you buy their pump kit, along with a whole bunch of other things they gave you. They gave like six different resin dyes and six different mica powders and all kinds of other stuff. So there's two ways to get the ocean white. So let me just check my temperature here and see where we're at 31 okay yep i will be back in just a few minutes we got it up to temperature 33 and a half degrees which is 92 fahrenheit you can even go a little bit higher um you could do 34 35 so for the sake of time i'm going to just dump just to cover the bottom. I'm going to try that one on this one. So each one will get a little bit different amount because these are different size molds. The rest will go into the white. And I think what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to say forget about alcohol ink. I'm going to do it just in the clear and we'll hold up black cardstock behind it when it's completely done. That way we can't say that the alcohol ink is interfering with any of the, the pigments. So that's what I decided to do on this one. And I'm sure this won't be the last experiment. I'm constantly thinking of what ifs. If you guys have something you wanna see or you're wondering about and I can do a video on it, just drop that in the comments and let's see what we can do. 
I'm just trying to get this spread evenly without pouring any more. I want just the thin layer because I had such good luck the other day with a super thin layer. It was my best bloom ever that I did. All right, now for I'm just going to pour the same amount into each one. I'm going to do them about half full. And like I said, it's going to take different amounts of white because of the brand to get um, pretty much the same white. There's a little left, so I'll just distribute between all of them. And I'm hoping they all work the same. I really, truly do, because I know a lot of you have these colors already. So hopefully, they will work. All right, I just wanna make sure they're in the right spot. Yep. All right. And again, I'm going to drip these onto a stick to try to get them equal. See, I you guys say turn it half turn. That was a half turn. And when I do a half turn on this bottle, it doesn't come out. Now when I'm doing a full turn, it's not even coming out. I'm not sure what's going on. I can't get this one out, so I will be right back. I don't know, maybe something was stuck in there, but it's coming out now. So I'm just going to, that's literally a drop. But again, I'm just going to make sure each opacity is the same, no matter how much I need to add. I will try to do my best. Okay. That one's still a little bit see-through, so I'm going to add maybe half a drop. So that was about one and a half drops. And that's about the right color that I'm looking for. Now this doesn't drop, so I'm gonna have to just dip it. I'm gonna start with that. I'm not sure how much I need. I've never used Armor Art for a bloom before. So I don't know how much I might need. That is not enough. It's getting warm in my hands. Here's another little tiny tidbit on the top. And that is still a little see-through, so I'm gonna add another tip. barely anything. Still a little see-through. So this is number four. Just check it against this one. Yeah, they look about the same now. All right, let's do the cast and craft. I know these drops come out big, so I, again, I will drip it into a stick because I cut the hole pretty big. Let me get some of that off. I 
it's still a little too op too uh, clear, so I'm going to put another little tiny. This is more runny than the others, so it's not like a paste. It's more watery. It's still a little bit too translucent. I'm just scraping it off from around the edge. Let me check it. Oop, shoot, I got it in there. And it's still just like a hair bit more. Okay, that's good. And last. Oh, sorry, I didn't know I wasn't in camera. And that one is still a little too transparent. One more drop, half a drop, I should say. Perfect. I think I've got them all, all really, really close. Let me just check my temperature here. I might not bother with the bags. 33, okay, I can get them into the bags and still be on time. Let me just wash this one off here. I decided I'm not gonna do the bags, so I'm just going to stir them and do my circles. Okay, so we'll start with the bloom. Try not to blob it like, well, like that. This one is the Armor Art. Again, I am no pro at blooms. I'm just trying to see if the average person is going to have any other issues. Okay. And last one. Of course, we have a ton of white left. I'll take my little stick here and make some petals. Again, nothing fancy in clear. I just want to see the bloom. I don't want to be worried about the alcohol inks and the colors and all that stuff. If they come out beautiful, we'll back them in different colors. I hope they all come out beautiful. I don't want to waste any of them. I'm really interested in this armor art, seeing that I've never used it for a bloom before. Then I'll take my heat gun to it real quick, warm it up, get it moving. and come back when they're cured. Actually, what I'll do off camera, once these are cured, I'm going to fill them all up with more clear so I can demold them because they are really, really thin right now and I can't demold them or backcoat them and anything like that, so.
cross your fingers. They're cured. Are you guys ready to see the results? I know I said I was going to do clear, but it looked like they all bloomed. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to do black background and we should be able to see the white pretty good. So let's start with the ocean white bloom and see how that one did. Okay. Wow. Black and white looks pretty nice. Now I can always go over the top of these with a little bit of something in the center and top coat them if I want to save these. These are, that one came out really nice. The thing I like about Ocean White, it always has these wispy edges on the petals. So I'd say that is a success. What do you guys think? Love that one. That's always my go-to one, but like I said, these may change my mind. I may not use that anymore. I'm hoping I know what I'm going to be using in the future so I have success. Okay, this is the Armor Art. I've never tried a bloom with the Armor Art before. Like I said, this is the only one that I, I use Armor Art strictly for waves. Oh, it worked! Nice! Literally almost exactly the same almost exactly the same so I now know armor art can be used for a bloom I probably have enough white to last me the rest of my life at this point if they all worked then yeah I will never need white again because I have so many the only white I didn't try was the just resin white I should have tried it Yep, Bloom works beautifully. Julie did a great job in her mixture, whatever it is. But they're all looking exactly the same. I'm so surprised that there is hardly a difference. Okay, one more, Cast and Craft, the cheapest one on the market other than making your own. If you make your own, obviously it's much cheaper. <laughs> wow. Any one of them, you guys, they all work exactly the same. I am so, so surprised. Like you cannot, you literally cannot tell the difference one from the other. I was very careful to mix the whites this time so you all don't think I was trying to mess anything up on purpose because I definitely was not. I want to know myself what I should be using and not using, but it looks like every single white that I used works. So I think the key is to let your fast cure resin heat up one to 35, 33 to 35 degrees which was what, 93 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Let that heat up. The next thing was to thin, thin, thin coat of resin. Don't fill your mold. Because once I learned that from Daniel Cooper, this is what I get. This is like, this is like cracking the code. And then the white you saw exactly just, not transparent, just past transparent is where I went. So you got it guys, you got all the information that you can use for your future endeavors. I hope you learned something, I certainly did. Today I learned a lot. So I learned that I have enough white for the rest of my life to make blooms. <laughs> I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful, blessed day. Thanks for tuning in again. And I hope I've inspired you to move on to your next project. I'll see you tomorrow, bye-bye.